Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to just do an, a general um, energy assessment of your masculine and feminine and see what chakra needs help. And we're just going to do this by element. We'll start with fire, go to earth, air, and water. So go ahead and check all your placements. We're going to focus the intention on sun, moon, and rising. Okay, so here we go. All right, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. Let's get your feminine and your masculine energy. Let's see if there's anything that needs work for the week. Please and thank you, spirit. All right, you have Oshun, forgiveness. Let's see if I can reach that. There we go. All right. Love for yourself will free you from agony and hurt with forgiveness. All right, let's see which of our boys comes up for you for your masculine energy. So it appears you might need to work on some self-love and self-forgiveness or forgiveness of others this week. All right, you got two boys came out. All right. First one that came up is Mithras Sacrifice. Okay. And the second one that came up is Achilles Confidence. With Mithras, Roman, Persian, Indian, Oshun is Yoruba, so that may be significant to you as well if you want to look into those. Um, Mithras is all about avoiding resentment, okay? Balance between healthy sacrifice and selflessness. It's also about a code of honor and harmony. And Achilles talks about confidence, your strength, your worth, stepping forward into whatever you're trying to do, knowing that you can achieve, okay? Just notice the glare on that. Can't get the lighting right at this time of day, guys. All right. I'm going to need another one to pop out here. See, we're going to have, let's see if I can put it right there for you. We're going to pull a chakra card and see what chakra you needs to work on. And we'll read from the book on that as well. I have an affirmation at the end as well for y'all. All right, so here's what we have for our fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, please. All right. You have card number nine, flexibility. I can't even get it to show. All right. That is, oh goodness, I think that's your sacral chakra. It's so dark in here. I can't wait to get new lighting in here. All right. Yes, sacral chakra. All right. You see it okay? All right. You have called upon this card today to encourage you to invite more flexibility into your world. The nature of life and our experiences are constantly inviting us to find a state of flexibility. When you can surrender to these messages, they will allow and embody a more flexible state of being. This will bring an abundance of ease and grace as you find yourself in the flow. Have you been feeling a little rigid in your thoughts or ideas lately? Maybe even a little stuck in your ways? If so, it's time to practice the art of flexibility. You may be holding on to something in your life a little too tightly, and now it's time to let it go and allow some new energy to flow in. It is easy to get caught up in trivial ideas and thoughts, especially if you have strong belief systems in place in your life. However, at this time, it will be beneficial and very healing to look at some of these outdated ways and beliefs that could be wreaking havoc in your world. Take some time to tune in and see what no longer serves you, and take the steps to bring about a little more flexibility. This card could also mean that you're being too rigid with a particular person, and it's time to give them and yourself a little slack. Flexibility is available to you right now. Let it in and allow for a life with a little more ease and grace. The affirmation on this card, I am free flowing and flexible. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull you some more affirmations from my own deck, just collected from wherever over the last couple, couple years, uh, right? You're welcome to use these anytime during the week, okay? If I see any pop up that might be best during certain times of day, I'll let you know. All right. 
for Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising. I get a few. All right. The first card that came out is I am capable of great feats. So I'm going to stand that up for you. You can probably see it better. I am speaking with clarity, love, and honesty. I am authentic. Now abundance surrounds me every minute of every day. All right, there you go, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising. Go check your other placements as well for further guidance, insight for the week, okay? There you go. Bye. All right, Earth sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what your feminine energy is like at this time for the week. Anything you need to be aware of, this could be a confirmation. Or just uh, maybe something to work on for you. You can learn your story. What's going on for you at this time, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Beautiful. First out, we have a DD. Let's see if I can get her focused here. This is a little strange. All right. Creation. Be the change you want to see in the world. Go make it happen. She's Hindi, so there may be something in her story that might help you at this time, too, okay? You may have a connection to that. All right, my dudes, how's the masculine energy for our, our earth signs doing? Sun, moon, rising. Please and thank you. Oh, speaking of Hindu, come on. Awesome. You have Vishnu. Balance. <laughs> ah, nice. All right. Balance with mind, body, and soul. Seek harmony and peace. Be aware, there may be an imbalance at hand, okay? So whatever is imbalanced, see if you can kind of recalibrate that at, the t at this time with your energy. We're going to also pull from the chakra reading cards, and we can find out where this imbalance may be, may be at. It could be with a DD, you might want to take a gander at your solar plexus, maybe fine-tune that a bit. I wouldn't be too surprised if that pops up. It could also be like a root chakra issue as well. All right, spirit for our earth signs, what do we got? What to work on? All right, centered around card number 12. This is your sacral chakra, relationships, okay? Let's see if I can get it to focus there. Before I pull it further away and you can't see it. 12 breaks down to a three. That may be significant to you at this time. Today is a powerful time and opportunity to deepen relationships. Relationships are the way we connect all things in our world, not just people. This could be a relationship with yourself, your partner, your family, friends, pets, creative projects, your home, and your community. For things to grow, expand, and to be healthy, your relationships need to be fed and nurtured. Now is a good time to see which bonds require some more love and attention and assess the ones that are not so healthy for you at this time. What awareness is required to shift the energy around any challenging relationships? What do you need to assess or what do you need to express for this relationship to heal? Whether this card relates to your intimate relationships or relationships in general, know that there is great opportunity for growth and connection. Through relationships, you learn about yourself and others. They are an integral and important part of your life's journey. Our relationships teach us and mirror many traits back to us. Sometimes this reflection is hard to accept. However, when you are willing to see yourself honestly and work positively with your behavior, then there is huge opportunity for growth. The key is to accept and love every aspect of yourself and set yourself free from judgment and limitation. There is an abundance of love and healing that comes with a solid, fulfilling relationship. Take time to nurture your relationships. Put in the energy to allow them to grow and expand into beautiful friendships or deeper connections. It is also a powerful time to create a long-lasting, healthy relationship with yourself and be your new best friend. The affirmation on this card, my relationships are aligned with my highest good 
and my soul's purpose. All right, so now I'm going to pull a few affirmations from the deck I created. Just collecting them over a couple years worth from various wonderful teachers. <laughs> All right. Let's get a piece here for our signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Peace, and thank you. You can use these anytime during the week. If I happen to notice any might be good for a daytime or nighttime. Otherwise, just uh, I'll note it, but otherwise, just assume any time of day. Ooh, I love this. I love it. I love it. I already see it. Okay, first one out. I am allowing my true self to shine its light through all layers. So there's your be the change you want to see in the world, right? It's just by being truly authentically you and allowing your brightness and your happiness and your joy and your inner love to shine on through, right? <clears throat> Next one. I am, I am dancing the warrior dance of courage, peace, and love. And guess who does that all the time is Vishnu here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm still just adjusting to this setup. Here. There we go. And last, I actually did this personally. Create your own mantra or affirmation so you get to choose, okay? Whatever you want to create at this time. Just keep it simple. A sentence is more than plenty. And use it throughout the week, okay? <laughs> All right, there you go. Have a good one. Bye. All right, air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get, uh, let's get your feminine energy assist. All right, pull from the Legendary Ladies deck by Ann Shen. So be for your sun, moon, rising, okay? So go check all your other placements as well. All right. Resituate myself. I have limited space here, so bear with. Hopefully the lighting is okay. It is nighttime. <laughs> and I only have one light right now. <laughs> all right, spirit. For Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, feminine energy, please. All right. All right, we have, love it. Aphrodite, passion. All right, let me reach all the way over there. Okay, she's not going to fall. Okay, Greek origin. So you might want to look her up. Or anything Greek might be significant at this time. There may be a story with her that'll help you. Okay, she's all about passion, owning your own sexuality, and being touched with the ple material pleasures of the world. Think about what you've been passionate about as a clue for answers. If you feel stuck somewhere, okay? All right, my boys. How's our masculine energy doing for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? All right. Boys, how say you? All right. Okay. You have Vishnu in the shadow side of balance. I'm going to go ahead and put him upright for you. In the upright, he's all about just balancing mind, body, and soul, right? So obviously there's some sort of imbalance to pay attention to. It's usually um, an indication, even in the upright, that there may be an imbalance. Um, so this is more of an indication that yes, there is, okay? Seek it out and identify these imbalances that create insecurity, poor health, or money issues. Okay, so maybe specific to one of those things somewhere in your pentacles okay is feeling out of alignment okay it could just be as simple as how uh, you see your self-worth okay so go find some passionate things maybe you are feeling insecure because money is an issue and you're not sure where to find it right Aphrodite here suggests go with what you love right to seek answers okay there may be something in a hobby a creative um, activity you much enjoy of sorts, okay? All right, let's get a chakra card spirit. Where else can we? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could use some assistance at this time. All right. You have card number 19, breaks down to a 10. Tens are endings that lead to new beginnings. Forgiveness, this is your heart chakra. So your heart chakra might need a little extra love there. Aphrodite's got you. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
All right. You have attracted this card into your life today because it's a powerful time of forgiveness. When we hold on to grudges and wounds from the past, we can create imbalance and disharmony in our life. Over time, this can turn into resentment, anger, frustration, sickness, and depression, like rotting fruit creating a disease inside us. You may be feeling flat and down about something that has happened in your life, and it's now time to bring the healing energy of forgiveness to this situation. True forgiveness starts with you. Take some time over the next few days to ask yourself, what am I holding on to? What requires love, attention, and forgiveness? When you have identified the issue, make sure you do what is required to surrender or expand your awareness to a place that allows for true forgiveness to occur. When you can truly forgive and let go, you can set yourself free from those stale energies and beliefs and deep healing can occur. You will feel so much lighter and happier in your world. If, you have, if you're thinking about a situation or question or person, know that this is a sign for you that forgiveness is required to move forward. If you have already been working on forgiving, know that this card is a sign that you are making progress and that you should continue doing what you are doing. To find that deep place of forgiveness requires much love, understanding, compassion, and a whole lot of courage. You have all these traits within you to draw upon at any time. The time has come for you to let go and forgive at a deeper level so you can dance in your energy of freedom. The affirmation on this card is, my heart is full of unconditional love and I forgive freely. All right, now I'm going to play three cards from the Affirmations deck I created. Just a collection of affirmations from all over the place over the past couple years of awakening <laughs> that I found helpful. <laughs> I just collected them all, never knew when I was going to use them, and then realized I had so many that would make a great deck <laughs> for whatever. So we'll pull a few, okay? And you can use them anytime during the week, all right? Some might be great for morning, some might be great for the evening, right before bed, you know, whenever you need it, all right? All right, first one that had come out. I am loved through this process. I'm going to actually put that there. My beautiful body is fully harmonized in this now moment. And I am capable of great feats. If you can see that, okay. <laughs> the darkness. All right, there you go, air signs. Hope that helps. Have a good one. Bye. All right, water signs, sun, moon, rising, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's get your feminine energy, see how it's doing at this time. All right, so please and thank you, spirit, and our legendary ladies. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. Please and thank you. Ooh, you got two. All right. I have to bring out another... All right, there we go. First one out, she's face up. You have Chalchilique, and I'm gonna get her name right, I swear. Fresh start, so new beginnings, perhaps having to do a redo on something possibly or do something different. You also have Oya, expression. And she's all about just speaking truth and using your voice. So it's also an indication, too, that maybe singing might be important at this time. So we'll start with Chalchiluikwe. <laughs> I'm going to get it, darling. She's Aztec, so that may be significant to you at this time. There may be something in her story that might help as well. I just see the glare there. All right, there we go. Let everything go and start from scratch, she says. And Oya... Yoruba, also look into that as well. There may be a story with her as well, okay? Where are you, darling? Speak now and speak up. Speaking truths, getting vocal and singing, okay? So there may be an opportunity right now to start from scratch where it's regarding your voice, regarding your throat chakra, okay? Let's pull one from the chakra reading cards and see if there's any further insights. 
this time. Please and thank you, Spirit. Uh, water signs. Thank you. Ooh, you have number six. Six could be significant to you. Balance, that's your root chakra. This may be um, something having to do with your throat chakra that also will help you balance your root chakra back out. Maybe there had been something that um, had happened in the past um, or is about to happen that may be a little upsetting, right? And you kind of need to recalibrate yourself with regards to your root chakra and your throat chakra, okay? So we'll go ahead and I will read the affirmation at the end as well. It's an indication that balance is required somewhere in your life. Mastering balance is certainly a work in progress and a, a progress and a, mas a powerful master key to a more harmonious, enjoyable life. We live in a physical world of polarity with day and night, hot and cold, and the forces of nature are constantly working towards a state of balance in everything. Living a life of balance is the ultimate goal. When you can walk your path with no judgment and realize that everything has an opposite, life becomes less stressful and flows with ease and grace. You've maybe been feeling out of whack as of late. Take a moment to see what is out of balance in your life. What have you been putting too much energy into or focusing on? Or what requires a little more attention? If you have been putting too much energy and effort into something and feeling stuck, then it's time to let go and allow the natural flow of balance to take place. If you've been ignoring something and not giving it the attention it requires, now is the time to give it some love, care, and focus. It could be thoughts in your head, relationships, work, family, or a new project you're working on. Once you find where the balance is required, take action and positive steps to allow the flow to happen. There is an old saying that too much of a good thing is not always the best medicine. Balance is the key. It's time to let go and stop pushing or trying too hard. Surrender and allow balance to bless your life. This card can also indicate that balance may already be present and you've been taking the right steps to allow it to flow into your world. The affirmation on this card I am balanced in all aspects of my life. I'm going to go ahead and pull you three affirmations. At least three. <laughs> More than three. That's great. This is just a deck I had created from all the various affirmations I've collected over the past couple years of awakening. Almost a couple years of awakening. That I have found very helpful and useful. Okay. Turn them into meditations pop-ups, just anything I needed to know or look into. <laughs> Use them any time of day you like, okay? Any day, time of the day you feel. I always found them to be helpful for me, first thing in the morning. Part of mirror work or something, you know? Along with my gratitude exercises. <laughs> Alright, first one that came out I am allowing my true self to shine its light through all layers. And I do believe Earth got this as well. The Earth signs got that as well. So you may have significant Earth in your chart as well. You might want to go listen to that. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to read that one second. All of creation is supporting me and manifesting sacred love. And... Forgiveness is a natural byproduct of healing. And this absolutely resonates with the air sign uh, one as well. So you may want to check that out, okay? There may be some aspect in your chart that has air in it that might need some attention, okay? There you go. Have a good one. Bye.